Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Yakuza 0. So today we're gonna do some sub stories and we'll do a couple of them. Yes, maybe like two or three. Let's see how long they are though. Let's start with this one. Um, a sketchy young woman. Excuse me, please, I need your help. A shining example. A drunk pervert is harassing my friend. Please, please come help her. Yes, let's go. All right, where is she? Okay, thank you. Over here. Quick. Is this real? Or did we, are we just getting baited here? They're just through here. Like when we come here, it's a trap. They're gonna steal our money. And this drunk's all alone? Does he have any friends? She's gone. Where did she go? Okay, did we actually got hit? We got knocked out. What's going on here? Nice dodge. Not bad for a Yakuza. I was told to be a drunk pervert here. <laughs> You're too gullible, a -hole. <laughs> Figures. So that girl's your accomplice. So what do you want from me? I just have a small favor to ask. Mm -hmm. hmm. Do society a favor. And die. A mysterious man. Oh, a guy. Jesus. Please, don't kill me. You set up an ambush and then you beg for mercy. Not the sharpest tool in the shit, are you? Let's see your face. Just a kid. So, what's your story, sir? Did someone pay you to kill me? No, it isn't like that. Then why'd you target me? You on the Dojima family payroll? The Dojima family? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know any Dojima family. I didn't care who it was as long as it was a Yakuza. It didn't even have to be you. Nani? What? <sighs> I hate Yakuza. It'd be a better world if they all die. <laughs> People are fond of the Yakuza are pretty rare, but I'd say it's even rare to find a nut job waiting to jump people in the back alley for no damn reason. How old are you, sir? I'm 16. Mm. High school, then. Screw high school. I'm in a biker gang. <laughs> so you're some biker gang grunt. Huh? Grunt? It makes you think I'm a grunt. Yes. Right. What's your name? Tanaka. Shinji Tanaka. Shinji-san. And what's your deal? What family are you with? I'm a civilian, not a Yakuza. Yeah, right. I'll ask you one more time, Shinji. Nobody put you up to this, right? Huh. That's right. Then why you do it? The Yakuza destroyed my family, man. My old man ran into cash flow trouble, flipping real estate. The Yakuza shark smelled blood in the water and they took everything. My mom was smart, though. She ran at the first side of trouble. Those eels came and beat on my old man every day. Then the old man would beat on me. Because he could. God damn. Why are you punishing your children, man? <sighs> but a dead stop once I hit him back. And now he sits around hugging a bottle. Makes him want to put him out of his misery. I couldn't stand being around him, so I hit the streets. And you thought mugging a Yakuza was the answer? If, gonna, if I'm gonna steal to live... Yakuza are totally fair game. They're all thieves anyway. And they've got a reputation to uphold, so they can't go crying to the cops if their asses get kicked. Uh. You're walking a fine line. If they catch you, they'll kill you without a second thought. <laughs> it's fine. The only ones who know I'm doing this are my bike gang. Guys I can trust? Hope that works out for you, sir. I really do. 
Hey, where do you think you're going? What? You need me to listen to more of your life story? As long as you're not answering to a higher power, I'm done with you. But since you're letting me speak my mind, quit this Yakuza hunting thing while you're ahead. You're only still alive through dumb luck. When they catch you, and they will, they'll pay you back tenfold. Whatever. I haven't met a Yakuza as tough as you yet. As long as they're alone, they go down like chumps. I enjoy listening to them beg for mercy. That said, when you kicked my ass, I seriously thought I was dead. Fine, you do what you want. I'm not gonna argue about it with a grown man. Sorry. Okay, that kid's gonna be dead sooner or later, but I did what I could. I got my own problems right now. Okay, something happened. So I entered West Park and now I left. Okay. <laughs> there was nothing in what? West Park, by the way. Just entered to nothing. And then when you come up, back out this. Okay, hey you. You talking to me? You see anybody else? Come with us. We need to have a little chat. And uh, who are you guys? It doesn't matter who we are. But you, on the other hand. You know a kid named Shinji Tanaka? Uh, he told us all about you. You don't need me to spell out the rest, do you? Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Huh? Don't play dumb with me. You used that kid to go after our boys. Nanny. Nanny. The kid ratted you out, so quit playing dumb and come along. This is what happens when you screw with a Jinsei family. Jinsei. You guys got Shinji? What do you do with him? <laughs> Your concern for the little boy is real touching and it's as good as a signed confession you're the guy he's working for. But don't worry about a thing. You'll see him real soon. So quit dragging your ass and come with us. <laughs> no wonder the Jinsei family is a shit scene of a third string family. You guys don't know anything about etiquette. Huh? You want to take me somewhere? You better bow first. If you can't do that, then piss off. Why, you punk? Forget it. We'll beat the shit out of you here and now. Honestly, I don't want to read the swear words, right? But then, when we're reading a lot, I just read them. Boom! Help. Where's Shinji then? Where is Shinji? Who the hell is this guy? This is crazy. The punk better still be alive. Show me where he is. But you ought to know. I'm not the guy pulling his strings. He lied to you. <laughs> what? He dragged me into this and he's going to pay for it. Oh, I see. <laughs> so that's how this went down. We're on the same page though, man. Uh? Then take me to him now. Quit stalling. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry now, sir. Respect. Didn't expect to find a kid like this mauling our boy, so where's the guy filling this punk's head with ideas? Still can find him? Yeah, not sure what the holdup is. Kazuma Kiryu. You, you did come for me. Well, well, well. Huh? So this is our mastermind, eh? Uh, remember when we did a sub story, right? With the tax guy, the tax lady, right? Uh, from what's the name? Marase? Marase? Murase? Something like that. This is the same room. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> They're taking a nap outside. You sure pulled out all the stops to deal with the one stupid kid. What a circus. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. I recognize this bastard. Uh -huh. 
It's Kiryu, the Dojima family put a bounty on him. It's the guy the Dojima's family's after, Kazuma Kiryu. What? You're shitting me. Kazuma Kiryu? Why would a walking dead man invite this kind of stuff? Like I'd bother hunting down weaklings like you. Shinji here shoved a load of BS down your throat. <laughs> so that's the story. Well, screw it. I don't give a shit anymore. It's our lucky day. All we gotta do is take this clown to the Dojima family and we're in the good graces of the most powerful family in Kamarucho. Alright. Cave is facing, boys. He's our ticket to the big leagues. That guy's massive. The guy in the middle, though. Is it the same room? It's literally the same room. Look, the, the tapes are still here as well. They didn't even, they didn't even try to change it. The Dharma. The Dharma. Move. I need the Dharma. He got scared. Look at him. Everyone is dead. Damn, you're freakishly tough. Sir Kazuma Kiryu, I heard about you. The whole Dojima family is out hunting for you. That's brutal, man. You're taking on the whole Dojima family by yourself. I wish I had half that kind of strength. They work you over pretty good, huh? Did that pound some sense into the thick skull of yours? As if. How did they find out you were the one going after them? Someone in the gang ratted me out. They got scared that the Yakuza would come after them if, I got, if my cover got blown. So they turned me over in exchange for their safety. Hmm. Hmm. When I think about it, I can see why they did it. I was an idiot for trusting them. One more question. Why did you tell these goons that I was the one ordering you to go on this Yakuza beating spree? Yeah. Because if I didn't, I'd give them something. These guys were going to take me out and bury me off in the mountains. I figured that there was no way out or there was no way they could take you on. So I gave them a description. I told him you were my boss. I had to. I thought, maybe you'd come save me. You just seemed like the kind of guy. What the hell? What do you think you're doing and what have you been doing with your whole life? Huh? The guns to your head and the first guy who comes to mind is a complete stranger you only met once. No family, friends, or relatives you could trust to throw out there? Instead, you've been acting like some vigilante jackass trying to take out the Yakuza until they finally won. The hell is that kind of life? Nobody ever taught me to trust. I never had anyone around to show me what to do. So I figured it out as I went. No one taught me anything about how to live. <laughs> Grow up. You can't blame this on your father or the people who failed you. You have to fight your own damn battles. I am no exception. I'm trying my damn hardest to live. But you're so damn strong. I was just lucky. I had a mentor. I didn't have someone who gave me something I could aspire to be. He's a Yakuza though, so I guess it means you automatically hate him? Is he a role model? He's Shintaro Kazuma, the captain of the Dojima family. If I could be half the man he is, I'd be alright. But I'm not even close to that. Shinji, the Yakuza have their eyes on you now. You can't stick around, so get out of Kamurucho. Find yourself someone you can trust, someone to show you the ropes. Get out of Kamarucho. I can't do that, Kiryu-san. I'm not running away. Nani. What? Besides, you've got way more Yakuza on your tail than I do. Don't you? I'm staying put. <laughs> Have it your way. If that's how you choose to live, like I said before, I won't argue with you. <laughs> yeah, 
It is my decision. Promise me this though. Cut ties with your sorry little gang and if you're going to live in this town, I want you to figure out how to outlive me, Shinji. Hey Kiryu son, one last thing. What made you come save me? You're already at the top of the dojo family hit list, so why take that risk? Who knows? I don't know why I do half the things I do. But when I was a kid, I was alone too. If I hadn't met Kazuma-san, I'd probably be a lot like you right now. So see you around, Shinji. Here, son, I think I've found someone I can aspire to be. In fact, I hope someday I can be even better than you. No matter where you go, I'm going to be just a step behind. You just watch. A shining example. Kiryu san, sir. Respect. Just like a GT ending. Respect plus. Okay, let's also check this one then. What is this? But yeah, that was a nice uh, sub story. So basically, Kiryu helping out a kid. Oh no, it's that woman again who's that unfortunate victim. I should connect her too. Hmm? What? The telephone club clerk looks like he has a problem on his hands. Ah, oh, sir, can I help you? Yeah. Uh, no. I just noticed you seemed like you had a problem. Oh, what's it a stare though? Sir. Hmm? What? <laughs> Your voice is so cool. In fact, it stops me in my tracks, and I'm straight. I must, and I'm a straight guy. You're a lady killer. Okay. Maybe with a voice like yours. Mm. Honestly, though, the the one who's voicing here, you right, dude. The voice, though. Yeah, when you're talking in the phone and you don't know who's behind it, and he was talking, he's talking like this. God damn, though, right? Lady killer, son, may I interest you in her telephone call. Oi. Are you seriously calling me that? I was just passing by, man, some other time. Please, a moment, sir. You don't even have to pay. I beg of you, try our telephone club. You don't want me to pay? Now I know there's a catch. <laughs> well, yes, I'll be honest with you. You see, we've been getting calls from this strange woman. A strange woman? Yeah. Yes, it's a woman I am, or it's, yes, it's a woman with a strange voice. The thing she says don't make much sense either. She's really weird. She's been calling us non-stop today. But she's so odd, the customers I connect her with end up complaining. I don't want to patch her through anymore. Mm. Sounds like a problem a problem caller, like, but even if she's odd, a telephone club can't really start refusing calls. That's exactly it. But you're such a lady killer, sir. I think it'd be the man to talk her down. What, me? Destiny calls. Okay. Hi. The voice is like whiskey. The overflowing sense of empathy and compassion. With a voice like yours, even the weirdest women can be wrangled. You gotta be kidding me. You don't have to pay. Please, I'm begging you. Is this gonna be like a telephone club thing? Oh my god. I guess at least it's a chance to get some, some telephone club practice for free. What do I have to lose? Yeah, let's take it then. Uh. Hmm, alright, I'll take the call. Not for too long, though. <laughs> yes, you're a lifesaver. I'll show you the room and the r right away. I'm sure she'll call again soon, so... The instant she does, I'll patch her through to you. Uh. Sure. Mm. Okay, let's see. The clerk said he would patch the weird caller through right away. Is she actually going to call? Mm. Okay, here it is. Answer it. Weird calls about topics that don't make sense. Wonder how this is going to go. How weird could this lady be? Hello? Jesus. Are you someone I can finally talk to? I'm so tired of this shit for brain guys hanging up on the phone. Uh, uh sure. I'm your man. Her voice is so deep and husky and she's kind of a gutter mouth. The clerk wants me to deal with this using empathy and compassion, so how should I break the ice? Uh, this is destiny at work. I got a real sense that this is destiny at work here. Destiny? Uh. How are we exchanging words now, you and I? It comes from coincidences upon coincidences. Like gears within gears, you could call it destiny. We should cherish every moment of it. What? What are you saying? Don't you get what's going on here? 
Uh, no need to be bashful. I want to get to know you better. Why the hell w would I give any details about? <laughs> I give you any details about me? Then again, uh, happy-go-lucky guys like you are what really, what I really wish I could aspire to be. Good. She's tough, but she sounds pleased. I guess Nishiki's right. Women really go for the mushy stuff. But damn, you're such a weird family. What? Weird family? And everyone I've talked to at your place, even not here. Oh, okay. My place? How do you know how many times I called? I keep getting someone different every time. It's been impossible to get this deal to happen. No, oh, I guess uh, this guy is probably selling something. How big is your family anyway? Daddy. My family? What are you talking about? Of course you're not going to get the same guy every time you call. Huh? What are you talking about? You're all just one big happy family, aren't you? They must be precious to you. A precious family. Uh, I, I guess I'll just say, yes, we're a family. Every customer here is a rival. Competing over incoming calls. I don't know their faces or their names, but they all work toward the same goal. We share a common dream. In that context, maybe we are all, we are all one big family. Uh. Yeah, you're right. Everyone here is my precious family. Good, good. My family is, our family is precious. Glad there's someone who understands that. That'll make our deal go smoothly. So, I think this guy is uh, just selling something, right? And someone gave him this uh, phone number, I suppose. As a joke? Yeah, you know what's this about. It's about the most important thing in your life. The most important thing to me is... My manhood. <laughs> oh, we can joke about it though. My manhood. Yes. You mean like my manhood or something? Well, close enough. I'm talking about your little guy. Wait, what are you going to do with my little guy? What shall we do indeed? It all depends on your reply. I don't like where this is going. I love it. Finally, you're feeling the heat. You're about to lose the most important thing in your life. Daddy. You're going to take that away from me? I'm sorry, but I'm not doing anything that hardcore. Oh, but you will. This is serious. I, if you want your little guy let loose, bring the cash to the fountain in West Park. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Now, now I understand. So this guy's probably a kidnapper. Yes. Daddy. What? Cash? Isn't that against the rules? <laughs> of course it is. I, I knew that going into this whole thing. Uh, okay. How much money are you expecting, though? 50. And your little guy gets off. 50? Is that really all you want? 50 million? Yeah, and come alone. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, he, he put it down then. Hmm. Oh, later, Lady Killer Son. Thank you so much. You really came through for us. You were on the phone with her for a while. How did it go? Uh. I promised to meet her in front of uh, the fountain at West Park. I'm on my way. Eh? Really? You got her to agree to a meet up? That's amazing. The other guests all hang up on her because the conversation just weren't getting anywhere. I knew you were the one, Lady Killer Son. Your compassion and patience are the gold standard. You're the best. <laughs> hmm. I wouldn't say th that. Besides, she might be a little different, but I don't think she's a bad person. <laughs> At least they should cut down on the weird call she keeps making. Uh, thank you so much, Lady Killer Son. <laughs> Stop calling me that. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I wonder what she's like in person. You'll come. You're co you'll come back to tell me, won't you? Uh. Sure. Yeah, he's definitely a dude. That is definitely a dude. Okay, let's go and find this person. Let's go. We're at the fountain now. Let's see. Oh, there's a dog though there. I'm supposed to meet that odd telephone club caller in front of the fountain in the park here. But come to think of it, neither of us told each other what we look like. So what to look for? How are we supposed to meet up? Huh, that voice. Could it be? No. Hey, you. 
the dual set velvety tones of that voice you must be the guy from the phone also it's this guy what phone are you talking about uh -huh. don't play with them with me where's the money you brought it right money that's right money come on hand it over else your beloved little guy my beloved little guy wait i talked to a woman with a husky voice at the telephone club about my little guy so you must be a friend of hers huh telephone club i don't know what you're talking about but that was me on the phone Daddy. what you don't sound like her she had a husky and sexy voice uh -huh. are you nuts why would i phone and ransom a demand with my real voice i use a voice modulator ransom voice modulator then what about a deal to get my little guy off for 50 yen what are you talking about don't you want your son back now fork over the 50 million I told you to bring. Hell, dude, little kid, you can run now. Run! Holy crap, that telephone caller was a kidnapper. You're not getting a single yen out of me, sir. What? But then why did you come? Because, uh, to protect what's important to me. Uh -huh. You were never going to pay the ransom from the start, were you? You know too much now. I can't let you walk out of here. Jesus. You got obliterated. I never should have nabbed a kid with a dad. So goddamn tough. Yeah. Listen up. That boy isn't my son. You were calling into a telephone club the whole time. A telephone club? That can't be. I dialed a number the kill told me. Well, actually, I could see a neon sign through the window of the room I was locked up in. I didn't want mom or daddy to worry, so I just told you the telephone number that wasn't assigned. Then you were... Uh. Yeah, just a telephone club customer. No wonder my ransom demands were getting nowhere. My business went bust. I lost my house and the wife left with the kids. And now I got conned by a kid abducted, savaged by a telephone club cu customer and no money to show for it. Where did my life go wrong? It's not too late to turn things around. Huh? After you had something, some time to think, about your crimes and you're set free, I'll take you to a telephone club. <laughs> That's great. Something to look forward to. If they're still around when I'm out. I mean, yes, he's gonna go to jail. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You know, I'm glad I got to talk to you on the phone. It was enjoyable conversation. Here, hold on to this, would you? It won't help me where I'm going. You got super spicy knife. I don't have any space for it. Move this one. Thanks. I guess I had fun too. Oh, well, sounds like the cops finally got word of this ruckus. I'll go quietly, so don't worry. Talk to you later, telephone buddy. Thank you for rescuing me, mister. Sure. Are you alright now? Yep. The kidnapper man was really nice. Was he? Hey, mister, what's a telephone club? Uh, well, it's like a playground for grown-ups where you can meet new people. <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. I want to go to a telephone club. Like I said, it's for grown-ups. Destiny calls. Okay, so I guess we're going to find another sub-story. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, there's a guy here. What are you doing, sir? Why are you hiding like that? She looks so similar. No, maybe not, but still. She's gone. Maybe it is her, but I could be wrong. What's that guy up to? Sugar daddy. Okay, sugar daddy. Is it her? Or not, I can't tell. Hey, what are you up to, sir? Uh -huh. 
Hmm, who are you? You startled me. Who I am? It doesn't matter. What do you think you're doing spying on that girl? You'd better not be stalking her. Stalking uh -huh. her? Oh, no. Nothing of the sort. I was just keeping an eye on the girl out of parental instinct. Pater or paternal, I mean. Paternal instinct. Oh, she's your daughter? Well, that is where things get murky. I can't really be sure whether she's my daughter or not. Oh, okay. So that's why he said, oh, she kind of looks similar, right? What do you mean? Got it. So you haven't seen your daughter in years. Yeah. It's been 15 years since my divorce and my visitation rights were denied. Dude. If your kid has a father that wants to see his kid and he's not a bad guy, just a good guy, right? Why deny it? Why deny it? If he's not an abuser or anything like that and he just wants to see it, the, his kid. Why deny it? But then again... We don't know what this guy did. Hey, okay, that's a long time. Why did you get divorced? I hate to admit it, but the business I was running back then went under. My company was doing well, nothing spectacular, but it provided a steady income. But I got complacent and failed to see the market turn. When lo losses started to mount, I kept blowing borrowed money into the falling business or into the failing business, convinced I could turn it around. Eventually, I found myself drowning in debt. My wife must have had enough of my obstinate pride. She walked out with her daughter, not to me. I see. So you left your husband. After that, I did anything I could do to redeem myself. I took every job available and bowed before anyone who would help. Thankfully, the booming economy lifted my fortunes. Now, I earn enough money to live without any worry or want. Good to hear. If they saw me now, my wife and Natsumi might be willing to give me another chance, but I have no way to contact them. Then recently, I found a girl who is the spitting image of Natsumi when she was a child, but grown up now. I see, so she's the hostess you were watching. Yes, exactly. 15 years ago, Natsumi was 5 years old. She should be around that girl's age by now. If it's not too late, I want to see my girl Natsumi again. I wanted I don't want to talk with her, eat together like we used to. I would be called or want to be called daddy again. But the problem is I'm not sure if she really is not to me or not. My dad my dots are keeping me from taking the next step. The girl who might be your daughter is a hostess, isn't she? Why don't you just go to the club and ask her in person? If it were that easy, I wouldn't be suffering like this. Whether that girl is my daughter or a stranger, I need to be emotionally prepared for the fallout. I can't do anything until I know for certain. Mm. Well, you'll never meet your daughter by doing nothing. I was hoping you could help with that. Can you go to her club and figure out whether or not she's my daughter? Me? Yeah. Yes. You understand the situation and you look to be a man familiar with these kinds of um, nighttime establishments. Of course, I'll put the club charges. Just think of it as a free night out. Mm. Hmm. Well. Please, please, help me see my daughter. He's not even sure if she's really his daughter, but he is hurting and he's willing to pay for it. What should I do? I'll agree to help him, yes? Uh. Fine, I'll do it. I'll check if she's your daughter or not. <laughs> you will? Thank you so much. Um, I'm Kiryu. Here, you son. My name is Misumi. Misumi. Thanks. Thanks again for your help. Please accept this. Ten thousand yen, dude. I need a million at least. The girl looks my, like my daughter uses the name Reika at the club. So please use that money to request her. Uh. Okay, got it. Reika at the club. Okay, we're inside. I thought we, I thought we had to like walk uh, up a little bit. Welcome. Would you like to request a particular hostess? Uh. Dude, it looks like this guy, the one Kiri is talking to now, is the dad. <laughs> no, because the, I mean the same model they're using, right? The hair, the face shape, and they just put him like this backwards so we don't see him. Reika-san, is it? I let her know. <laughs> Reusing models. In the same scene, basically. In the same sub-story. Hello. It's nice to meet you. 
<laughs> I'm Reika. Thank you for coming today. Uh. Sure. So, uh, this is the girl who might be Misumi's daughter? Close up, she does kind of resemble Misumi. A little bit, yeah. Mm. I'm sorry, have you met before? Uh. Oh no, this is the first time. My name is Kiryu. Oh, that's a relief. Please, don't scare me like that, Kiryu-san. Mm. What's a relief? I didn't remember seeing your face, Kiryu-san. I got nervous because I thought maybe I forgot a returning guest's face. Hmm, it's okay, we haven't met before. Eh? But then, why did you request me? Nani? Huh? You asked for my for me by my by name, so it must mean you knew about me, right? Where did you hear about me, and why did you request me? She's not going to let this go. I have to avoid making her suspicious. I can't tell her someone who might be her father asked me to come talk to her. So what should I say? I heard about you from a friend. I just really like the name Reika. Uh, this one is a, this one is the most safe one. Yes. This one, the staff might say, oh, no one, no one, I, I didn't say, I uh, told him. Yeah, so this one, I heard about you from a friend. I heard about you from a friend. He told me there's a real cute and charming girl named Reika at this club. Uh. Oh, I see. It makes me so happy to hear that. Who is your friend, by the way? I'd be, be, be I better be, be extra nice when he comes again. Who? Well, he was just a part of a big group. There were a lot of guys talking about Reika and how amazing she is. <laughs> oh, yes. Go me. Guess I got a reputation to live up to. Good. Reika's feeling motivated right now. But come to think about it, that doesn't really help me at all. Reika, how long have you been doing this kind of work? Mm. Not very long. I started about after i turned 20 this last summer so it would be around six months 20 huh misumi's daughter should be around 20 years old too could this girl really really be the one kiri son what line of work are you in hmm i'm currently working in debt collection oh you're quite versatile speaking of real estate i'm thinking of moving maybe i can ask you for advice you want to move? Yeah, my room is too small. I might be able to use this to find more about her. Hmm. Do you have a boyfriend? No, no, no. Do you have an... How is your place laid out? I live in a tiny six mat, one room apartment with a kitchen. What does it mean say six mat? I don't know. Me too. Oh, I guess it's the same room as Kiryu. Like the, yeah, his room here that it got burned, right? His apartment got burned. The one room isn't so bad if you leave alone. That's true, but I live in my mom. Oh, you and your mother? How nice. We live in the same apartment since I was a child. I'm starting to make a decent living, so I was thinking I wouldn't mind a bigger place. Uh. I get it. Kind of like a reward for your hard work. <laughs> Exactly, Kiri-san. I couldn't agree more. If you hear about a good place for rent nearby, would you let me know? Uh. Sure, I will. She's loved her mother since childhood. Maybe, just maybe, she could really be the one. If I could get one more piece of evidence that points to Reika being Misumi's daughter. Uh, okay, this one. Your father's not around? I'm not sure if I should even be asking this, but I take it your father's not around? My father? To be honest, I don't remember him very well. You don't? Nope. My parents divorced when I was still small. My mother left him and took me with her. I never saw my father since. Now I can't even remember what he looked like. So what caused their divorce? I think my father's business failed. Okay, checkmate. We got her. It, it's her. I heard it was in a lot of debt too. They divorced over her father's debt. And it matches Misumi's story. So how long was that? How old were you? 
I was five at the time, so I think 15 years ago. Ooh. Five years old, 15 years ago. That settles it. Reiko is Misumi's daughter. She's not to me. Here you son. Why are you asking me these things? Let's lighten up the mood. Reika, there's someone I want you to meet. Huh? Uh. Your father. My father? But how? Would you come with me? Just trust me. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be nice though. Let's see. My father's really here in Kamarucha? Yeah, he's been hoping to see you for a long time. So, where is he? You should be somewhere around here. There he is. Oi. Hey, I brought your daughter. Kiryu san, is my daughter really there? Uh. Yeah, let her see your face. Father? Uto san? I can't. I can't see my daughter. What? I'm too ashamed to face her. I'm sorry, Kiryu san. After I asked you to help me, and you even brought my daughter to me, but I can't. Father, it's okay. It doesn't matter anymore. Please look at me. I don't remember very much, but let's talk like we used to when I was a little kid. Reika, I had to beg to leave the club for this one. You owe it to her. I got a good look at you. Yes, at least let her, let her look at you. At least. Here, you son. I was refusing to face reality. Again. It's just like 15 years ago when I turned a blind eye to my business's dorm. Or doom. Sank into debt and paid for it with my family. I'm not going to run anymore. I'm going to face reality. I'm going to see my daughter. Hello, Natsumi. I'm not Natsumi. Who's Natsumi? I told you, man. My god, who is this? Who's Natsumi? Daddy. What? You're Natsumi. Aren't you my daughter? No, I'm Reika. Pardon? Isn't Reika just a stage name used at the club? Huh? No, my it's my real name. I didn't I want to put a false front even for work. Wait, what now? So that means you're not my daughter, but a total stranger. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> It was so wholesome. Oh, now they're drinking like this. Our backgrounds are so similar, Misumisa. It's almost like fate or something that we have we met. Right? Strange but true, Reika-chan. You look just like my daughter as well. I see her in you. But she looked like me when she was five. Isn't anything to go on though, Misumisa. You're silly. I couldn't find my own daughter, but I got to know you, Reiko-chan. This is even better. Oi. Hey, Misumi. Is this what you wanted? Yeah. No worries, scary son. What's life if you, can, if you can't enjoy it? This for the trouble I put you through. Goddess of Children Amulet. Uh, silence. A waiter, bring the most expensive drink you have to Reiko-chan over here. Yay, thank you, Misumi-san. Oh, stop it. I forbid you to call me anything so formal as Misumi-san. Daddy, call me daddy. Oh, I'll call you whatever you like, daddy. Say that again. Please, once more. Daddy. Waiter, bring us a fruit platter as well. Quick. Ooh. There's more than one kind of daddy. I guess. Sugar Daddy. Reika. So this is how she can afford a big apartment now, right? Yeah, damn. Dude, she looked like those uh Dangan Rompa characters, right? <laughs> The hair, I mean. 
even that's a wig right oh my god You can shoot me anytime, miss. <sighs> they got kicked out. Okay, let's go to the next uh, su uh, sub story. The last one for this episode. Let's go. Okay, let's talk to these little kid here. Uh. There's no place for a kid all alone. It is not safe. Go home to your mom. I don't want to. I don't like my mom and she's mad. <clears throat> what? Her mom got angry with you? With you? <laughs> I lost my voice there. Yep, I wanted to buy something from this super cool vending machine, but she flipped out. A super cool vending machine. Not like this one here. Oh, this scam vending machine. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like that. But yeah, I've seen like vending machines in YouTube videos, right? That people make that is actually in Japan. Like, vending machines in Japan, man. It's so different. It's not like you have... Sure, they have, like, drinks and stuff like that. But there are really, really different kinds of vending machines there. Like, I saw something like there's a vending machine that you can get a letter or something. And then you can buy some toys. You can get some some food. Japan, man, is just really so different when it comes to things like this. It's a lot bigger and it's a lot it's lit up with those bright lights. It's really really cool. So why did your mom get angry about over that? I don't know. My mom is always really nice, but she got really really mad this time. She looks scary. Okay, so what are you doing here then? My mom went out, so I took a train here. You came all this way or all all the way here by yourself? That's pretty gutsy. I gotta hand it to you, kid. I did a lot of chores and saved up all my allowance. Good for you. It's tough for a kid your age to save money. Uh. Yep. I worked really hard to get this far. But... What's wrong? I want to buy something from the cool vending machine. But it's at the back of an alley. It's dark and kind of scary as well. Mm. A dark alley is dangerous for a kid by himself. So I got it. And you're right. You're smart not to go into a dark alley alone. Uh. Yep. That's why I can't decide what to do. Well, I get what's, ho what's holding the kid back, but... Does he want a soda that badly? Maybe I'll just go get it for him myself. Offer to buy it. Okay. You win. I'll go buy this from this cool vending machine of yours. You be good and wait here, deal? <laughs> You'll do that for me? Yay. <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to be so happy over this. So, uh, where's this special vending machine? <laughs> It's over this way. Follow me. Did I want to use a vending machine? I haven't Oi. used a vending machine, I think, probably in 20 years. Yes. The last time I used a vending machine, I was a kid. If I remember correctly. Okay, it's in here. Okay. There it is. Nani? Oh, it's so adult stuff, though. Oi. Hey. <laughs> Your cool vending machine. Is it really that one there? Ah. Yep. It's something wrong, mister. <laughs> uh, so you... The kid was looking at the vending machine shilling adult merchandise. No wonder his mom flipped her lid. Okay. <laughs> See, isn't it big and cool? And there's no way I can give the junk to a kid. I hate to disappoint him, but I have to turn him down. But are they actually like vending machines like this in Japan? I mean, basically like porn, right? Yes. I know there are vending machines like for games, for movies, if I'm correct. But yeah, this one in public. Okay. 
Uh, why? Tell me why. You don't need to know just yet. But I already know something about that vending machine. There's a secret. Ma there's secret magazines in it. Those magazines are covered in shrink wrap. They must be super important to be protected like that. My friend's big brother said so. The shrink wrap or shrink wrap is not for protection, not for the magazine anyway. You'll understand one day. But I want to understand now. They said it would be really educational. It's not something you need to learn now. Look, I'm an adult, but even I don't know very much. It's deep. It's not fair. You said you'd go buy it for me. Grown-ups always lie. Am I gonna grow up to be a liar too? I don't wanna. When I was a kid, I used to think adults were unfair too. Yet here I am, just another lying grown-up. Hear you reminiscing about the times. All right, um, <laughs> why is, why is there music like this, man? This sub story is about a kid who wants to buy some, some dirty magazines, basically. <laughs> and the music is like this. All right, a man doesn't go back on his word. I'll keep my promise and go buy your magazine. Uh -huh. Oh, you will? Uh. Of course, but you have to keep it a secret from your mom, no matter what. <laughs> Yay, you're getting my magazine. Yay. Keep it down. You want to be treated like a man? You got to be patient and quiet. Uh, yep. Yeah, sorry, mister. And thank you so much for helping me. You shouldn't expect too much. What a dilemma. I made that kid a promise, but I can't really give that stuff to a child. What do I do? This kid is a picture of a bright-eyed innocence. I can't give him the magazine, but I can fulfill my promise to buy it. Okay, I got it. It's too dangerous for you, so stay back. Let's do this. Oh! Hmm? Someone's coming. Who is it? <sighs> I'm exhausted. Mm. Finally, a few minutes of myself. Who are these? Hmm, office workers on their break. Hmm? Okay, this, this is gonna be a funny because we're probably gonna have to hide from them, right? What do you suppose that man is doing there? Oh, you know, what's at the end of the alley? Oh, right. He must be lonely at night. <laughs> I'm surrounded. Better back off for now. But how he could how could he bring a child with him? People are so shameless these days. He's coming this way. What's wrong, mister? Aren't you going to buy it? Well, yeah, but see, that's not it. I... If those nosy women see me buying it, there's no telling what they'll say about it. I might have to wait them out. <gasps> oh! Oh, it's Mari Nachan! Hi there, President Kiryu. <laughs> oh my god. What? It's Mari no. Nani? Nani? Marina, what is she doing here? Why here? Why now? My life, mister. It's nothing. No. She will look at me differently now. What brings you out of here? Oh, just wandering around. What are you doing here? I take my break at the spark every now and then. I usually read or relax on that bench. Uh, okay. Sorry, we're in a hurry here. <gasps> oh, of course. See you then. I'll have to back off and hope for a chance. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Wait. Does he have a son? Yes, this is my kid. Hmm. Buying a shrink wrap magazine, Kiryu must reach a vending machine at the back of the alley without attracting attention. If he is spotted, Kiryu will become flustered and routine to the starting point. Oh my god, this is gonna be a problem here. Hmm.
looking at me though. Stop looking at me. Okay, I cannot see Marina. I cannot uh the camera, yes. It's hard to move it. You can't 360 it like this. Look, it's stuck. Okay, now what? I made it! Yes! We got it, yes. <laughs> We're able to buy the shrink wrap magazine. All that's left to do is give it to the innocent lad. <laughs> Yes, I'm so happy. This is much better than getting the empty lot. <laughs> Yay, mister, you're so cool. Hmm. This is far from cool. No way. You're my hero. Please, please. Can I have it? Before I give it this, or give you this, uh, you have to promise me something. Uh. This is important. You can't open this magazine until you get home. Even then, or even there, you can't even let your mo mom see it ever. Uh? Uh, where am I supposed to read it then? You can't let anyone know about it. You only can read it when you're alone. Okay, I got it. And... <laughs> there's more? This is the last thing. Don't hide it under your bed. It's not safe as you think. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't really get it, but it sounds like it's pretty important. Good boy. Handed the shrink wrap magazine to the boy. Thank you, mister. I'll treasure it forever. It's really not that valuable. There will come a day when you don't need it anymore. Just be careful getting home, okay? Yup, thank you very much. Grow up strong, kid. Marina Chonzi was watching us. It takes so much to be a man. <laughs> I like that she's involved in a sub story. Okay, so I guess we'll finish up the... Uh, what do you call this? The chapter. I think we just need to go there. And it's gonna be like super short, right? So let's check it out. Okay, let's meet with Oda. He's right here. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Yo, Kiryu-kun. Yes, I've saved people. And bought a dirty magazine to a little kid. Yeah, it's okay. Elder Chen. お待ちしてました、キリュウさん。あなたが総天堀に行く前に。空の一つぼの持ち主について。お話ししておこうと思いましてね。ああ。その人物は。今。うちと協力関係にある。とある組織に囲まわれています。協力関係にある組織。その組織については後で小田さんから説明してもらいます。ただ。どちらにしろ大
あなたが生きて蒼天堀から帰ってこられたらそのためにも無事にカムロ町に帰ってきてください桐生さん分かったそれで空の一粒の持ち主はどういうやつなんだ若い女性ですまいただどうも目が不自由とのことでほぼ失明していますえその空の一坪の所有者は牧村誠という人物です How though? How? Is she super rich then? No, no. I mean, she's not super rich. She just owned the land, right? I guess that's why everyone is、uh, hunting her. Okay, we're going back with Majima next time. 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 Okay, オミレンゴ基人会会長西谷誉れ関西を牛耳る大見連合内部で西谷佐川という二つの勢力がそれぞれ誠を奪い合っていた徐々に誠をめぐる勢力図が見えてくる中真島は密かに匿まっていた誠